What's up guys? My name is Rob. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a stop limit order on Binance. So how do you use a stop limit order on Binance? Well, here we are in the Binance Advanced Trade Dashboard, currently on ADA to USDT. And to use the stop limit feature, you just come down to stop limit here. It is the third button. You have limit, market, and stop limit. Click on stop limit. And you have three fields here, stop, limit, and amount. So in this example, I have this one already filled out with point. 23037 that is the low we saw back here so I would put this order on if I was long ADA and I thought if the price creeped back down to these levels back below these levels 23037 I want to get out of my ADA position using a stop limit order so what I have filled in here point two three zero three seven is as the stop and the limit so the stop is used as a trigger for the limit order so at this stop price if the last price gets back down to 23037 the last price coming from the order history if we make it back down there and we get a trade off at 0.23037 it is going to trigger this sell order of 0.42 ADA at a price of 0.23037. Now, if you want pretty close to immediate execution of the trade, your limit is going to want to be lower or equal to your stop here. So when I want pretty much guaranteed execution, I just go limit the same as the stop. And I haven't had a problem with that. So if you click, go ahead and click sell, it'll tell you what's going on. If the last price drops to or below 0.23037 USDT in order to sell 0.42 ADA at a price of 0.23037 USDT will be placed. So it's getting this first number here. If the last price drops to or below 23037, that is your stop. That is the number from your stop. So if the price gets to or below your stop price this limit order will be triggered your limit and your amount price will be triggered in order to sell 0.42 ADA 0.42 ADA at a price of 0.23037 that is the limit we put in 0.23037 will be placed so that's all a stop limit is doing if price gets to a certain level then this limit order will be placed and the same thing can go on the upside. Let's say you think, you know, if price breaks these highs, these highs we saw here, which corresponds with these highs we saw over here. So if, if price breaks these highs, I want to put in a limit buy order because I think ADA's price is going to go up. So the high of this candle, which we're going to get from right up here in the corner once we hover over it. Look for the H. It is... 0.24750 so 0 0.22475 so if prices get back up to those levels I want to place a buy order because AD, I think ADA's price is going to go up have a breakout and go up so if price gets to this level which is these old highs here I want to place this limit order so 0 0.24, what was it, 75, 24750. And I don't, I don't have a lot of USDT on Binance right now or any ADA, just 0.42. So numbers will obviously be different with the amounts and stuff. I'm just using this as an example. So here I'm going to put the limit order one tick higher than the stop. So if we go ahead and click buy, it'll tell you what's going on. If the last price rises to or above 0.24750 in order to buy 
0.01 ADA will be placed or at a price of 24751 will be placed. So if ADA's price last price reaches 0 0.24750, this order will be placed point by 0 0.01 ADA at 0 0.24751. So as you can see, the stop is always the trigger for the order. So the stop is going to be the price that you are looking at either if it breaks out to the upside on a buy or the downside on a low to place your limit order. Now most of the time people use this stop limit functionality as pretty much a stop loss for their long positions. So that would go back to the sell here. And, you know, I just used the major low from the chart as the stop. So if price creep back down to this 0.23037 level, when I placed this stop order, an order to sell 0.42 ADA would be placed at 0.23037 if the last price, the price is here, if we see a last price of 0.23037 was reached. So I hope that helps some of you out there. I know some of you are re were requesting this video. The thing you have to remember is just the stop. The stop is the level to trigger the trade. It's a normal limit trade. So just like the limit order here, you know, you set a price and the amount you want to buy. It's a normal limit trade with a trigger. The stop is the trigger. So once price of the whatever you're looking at whatever cryptocurrency you're looking at reaches your stop price then the order will be triggered the order that you put in will be triggered and you know that's what you got to remember with it the stop is the trigger and then the limit is just a normal limit trade limit and amount that's a normal limit trade just with a trigger this limit trade will not be put on until the last price reaches your stop trigger so I hope this video helps you guys out in understanding stop limit orders on Binance. If you do have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to answer them. But anyways, that's going to do it for me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did or found it useful, please drop a like on the video. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe. But that's going to do it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.